Good evening from the Florida Mall. We are here today to just kind of show you guys around the Florida Mall because we know that this is a very popular tourist destination mall. It is. Uh, not necessarily our favorite mall. No, but I understand why a lot of people want to come here. Because yeah. it's the Florida Mall. I think it's in the name. Right. Also, the Crayola experience is here. Yeah. Pretty cool. But I would suggest the Mall at Millennia if you guys are coming. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll put a link to a video where we went to Mall at Millennia too. But let's head into the Florida Mall. We're in the parking lot right now. Ooh. It seems like outside. It does look nice here. Look at this little like bobble over here that you can stand in and Instagram. I feel like, is this, has this always been like this? I think so. Oh, I don't remember that. There's like a play playground over here. We haven't been here for a while. Yeah. Ooh. I feel like you're Instagrammy. I love it. And it says so too. It's like capture the moment. I love it. Oh, it says to take a picture that way though. Does it look better? They're like, we want the parking lot in the background. That is really weird. <laughs> Kids are having fun in the playground. I don't think I've ever seen this. There's just like seats outside. Is that a Froyo place? Probably. The Florida Mall is all in on this selfie location. Like, here's another one. All right, here we go. We're heading inside. The first thing we noticed when we walked in, it's about the lumen power of the sun inside of here. There's like 50 bajillion lights everywhere and it's very bright. Look at how bright these lights hanging from the ceiling are. Well, they have like a little VR thing here where the kids are playing around and it's shaking them all over the place. I guess you can choose any one of these different games here. Who's, uh, who's cleaning these VR headsets? Yeah, this is what I was wondering. But I do kind of want to play Pumpkin Ghost. <laughs> okay, so we just kind of went to one of the anchor stores and then we're going to make our way around. But right next to the JCPenney is a Think Geek. Hey there, Iron Man. You doing okay? High five. Oh, it's a PlayStation ugly sweater. How much is it? It's well, not like bad. 40 bucks. Oh, and it's 60% off too. Whoa. I don't really even know how to describe Think Geek other than like everything that is geek you can get here. Like they have a whole wall of shirts. This one is definitely Zelda. I know that for a fact. Oh, what was it? What did you keep getting wrong? Everything. No, but there was like a specific thing. It was multiple thing. things that I called Zelda that were not Zelda. <laughs> I feel like if you like PlayStation stuff, you can get everything here, like an inflatable chair. I don't even like PlayStation stuff and I want that chair. <laughs> oh, they also have a whole lot of pop figures. I didn't realize they had so many. Yeah, it was definitely, oh, look at this one. It's the Christmas Chewbacca. This is cool. It's plain crazy. Is this a short that I don't know about? Yeah, it's the, one of the first ones. It's like, it was Steamboat Willie and Plain Crazy. But he had hair like that? I think so, yeah. Wow. They have a, a Funko mystery box. It says 25, but it's on sale for $20 right now. It says it has five pieces in it, but so are there five Funko Pops in here? I think you shook it and it doesn't sound like they're... Uh, maybe, I don't know. I well, it says it. it can be any of these things. There could be a oh. Pez in there. Gotcha. Oh, look, it's Monterey Jack. Oh yeah, there he is. Kind of all in on this Coochie Kopi mug. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a little broken here. Well, at least he wasn't melted in the oven. That's true. <laughs> Let's make our way through the mall. There's a CVS over there. A Toys for Less over here, World of Toys. We haven't eaten dinner yet, and this is looking mighty tempting to get a gigantic peanut butter cup right there. Look at the size of those things. Hey, Jen. What are those? <laughs> We're gonna head into Hot Topic. You guys don't know what Hot Topic is. It's This is another store that has like pop culture type stuff, but somewhat more based around music, sort of. I don't know how to describe it. They have a lot of Disney stuff too, yeah. They have Lisa Frank even. Oh, these are neat. Oh, it's a fan art finalist. Oh, I wonder what that means. This is Lisa Frank and SpongeBob mixed together. I like this Krusty Krab one. Oh is this the rug? Oh yeah, Can I think I should... so. Oh my gosh. That's pretty neat. Oh, I love Hot Topic. I'm 12 again. Oh no, what were you saying though? You said oh, your my friend... friend... My friend is the one that told me about these shirts and I wanted to see them in like person. And they're so cute. Ooh. You think they got pizza though? What? The Krusty Krab pizza. What is that? That's the best pizza. Is it? Yeah. What is it? I mean, it's the Krusty Krab pizza. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we found out that this one is not Lisa Frank. It's just, just SpongeBob. It's just a cool shirt. Yeah, but this one definitely is. But I bet you this makes you feel like you're back in middle school again with your little trapper keepers. Middle school, try elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> when we were younger, we used to always come into Hot Topic for this sort of stuff, like band t-shirts. What was it, a Krampus shirt? It is, it's a cool Krampus sweater. That's fun. Oh, hey Jen. Yay! 
<laughs> Even the stores in here are named after Beauty and the Beast characters. I like that there's a two-story Starbucks here, but it looks like you can only go into the first story. Why is the second story even there? There's one of those sushi conveyor restaurants. I don't know how you order, but they bring, it comes to you on a conveyor belt. Jen's headed into Lush. This is the weirdest bath bomb I've ever seen, aside from this snowman one. But I think the princess one is a little bit weirder. What is that? Oh, I love this. These are like really fun. There is a gigantic Nintendo display here where you can play all kinds of different Nintendo games. You can oh. do your best Fortnite dance. Oh yeah. But we are on a mission to the dining pavilion. Here in the food court, there are lots of fancy options for you to get. And we went with the fanciest, the Taco Bell. I feel like we're only going into the stores that are like pop culture type things. So they have a Rugrats Christmas shirt. I like this Patrick shirt. It's a Christmas shirt. This uh, Coco Feliz Navidad one, and then this Mouse Rat one. I like the Mouse Rat one. This is very fitting for today. When life gives you lemons. <laughs> oh yeah, there's Gary. Do you think Bandit could wear, could, could yeah. Bandit wear this? Maybe. Should we try? Maybe. How much is it? Is it like fifty dollars? <laughs> no. Oh yeah, no. Bandit doesn't need <laughs> it. Ni hoy manoy. <laughs> oh, a magic school bus chemistry lab. This is cool. Oh, Rick and Morty operation. Whoa. <laughs> oh, yeah. Family friendly. <laughs> it's such a soft shirt. Feel it. Oh, yeah. Oh, Bob's Burgers Monopoly. There's all kinds of... Look at this. Jenga. That's amazing. You must be like on the wharf, right? Yeah, right? You are. That's pretty oh, neat. Oh, the health inspector. Uh oh. Oh, this looks so good. Yeah, it looks kind of fun. $46. Oh, my. We don't even play our regular Monopoly. Should we buy it though? No. <laughs> I like this this Thor and Loki tiki set. Oh, those are cool. I didn't even see what they were. Yeah, it's cool, right? Yeah, what's this? The Black Panther. Oh, it's just a uh, figure. It's just like a figure, yeah. They brought us over to the Marie section. Look at this. It's all of them. I don't want to open it up because they just folded it, but it's... Open it up. And it's, no, it's folded all special, too. Whoa. Oh, yeah, and it, says, it has the music notes down the sleeve, too. Oh, my gosh. That's pretty neat. Do you think I should get it? Yeah, why not? It's got all the scat cats on it. You look like a medium. Look at these little stance socks with Mickey Mouse on them. And they got this Acraba City of oh, I love this. Mystery. I almost I thought it said Misery. Oh no. This is really cute though. Is it Aladdin or is it just kind of there? I think it's Aladdin. Oh my gosh, they have the Rescue Rangers shirt. That's amazing. They have a whole Fantasia set. Like everything Fantasia. I thought this was Star Trek for like just two seconds. I thought it was Star Trek. Say what? <laughs> Maybe I need to get some Ravenclaw boxer briefs. Ooh, yeah, you better represent. Yeah. <laughs> I like this Ewok beanie. It's kind of fun. How much is it? 1890. That was a good year. <laughs> oh yeah, this Star Wars shirt is really fun. It's like that uh, that guy. Yeah. Cool art. I feel like the theme of today's video is where do you buy Pop Funkos in Orlando? I didn't realize that they were such a big thing. There's definitely a lot of them. I love this heifer one. Hey Jen, you know where we're going? What? We're going to Ant Mountain. What is this? It's an ant farm, but a mountain. Wait, is it for real? Yeah, you put ants in there. How do you see them? They, they're on the backside here. Like they dig through all this. Oh, really? Yeah, I think so. I don't really know. I just made all that up. <laughs> Could be. So we're just checking out and they have some of these Nixon no Disney watches. I love this. And I love this. What is this? I think it's just a regular Nixon watch. Oh, it's cool. I like it. What did you miss? Disney used to have goofy watches. They might still have them, but they hold time backwards. Oh. Disney. <laughs> oh no, they're tearing down the Nintendo thing. Forget I even showed it to you. It won't be here. I need to do my Fortnite dance. Oh no, do it right now. That's not how they do that. They do that <laughs> knee thing like this. Oh, my bad. I got it, I got it mixed up with the Pee Wee Herman dance. Oh yeah. Darn it. I always do that. Pee Wee Herman was the first one to floss, right? I think so. But he was like... It's true. Santa lives inside of that ice castle. I thought that was Santa and I was like, whoa, Benjamin Button. Oh yeah. Next stop, Disney. The Disney store. Oh, it sounded magical. No, I was just amazed with the noise that we walked in. Hello. Love this sweater. How much is it? $49.95 is not too bad. It's cheaper than a spirit jersey. I love it. Yeah. There's a castle. Are you going into the castle? Oh, we're just in a castle. Oh, it did. We're back in the store. 
Darn it. I like that this store is just loud noises embodied. It's an Elsa raincoat. I actually like, really love this. It's pretty awesome. Those are those apple bottom boots. <laughs> the red bottoms. Oh. You know, the red bottoms. This store has the best stereo in it. It is really pumping in here. They're playing some real slapping bangers. Yeah, slapping bangers. You know what would only make this store better? What? Gaston. How many eggs do you think he ate today? 12 dozen. Yeah. <laughs> that is fun. How come all the kids get the full stuff? I don't know. Look at this sweatshirt where you're like ripping Mickey in half and he's like, oh no! <laughs> you know who that is? That's Fancy Nancy. Is it? Yeah. Are you lying? No. It oh. says so right there. What is, is she a character? I guess so, she's on Disney Junior. I think I'm really out of the loop. Yeah, I've never heard of Fancy Nancy. There is something here where you can get a holiday wish. And you're supposed to ask a cast member about it. I don't really understand what it is, but then there's a little box here where you put your holiday wish in. There she is again. It's Fancy Nancy. That's a pretty fancy phone that Nancy has. Oh, well that works. They do have adult sizes. Heck yeah, how much are the adult sizes? $62.95. Oh, I like the kid prices better. Right? They have like a fluffy spirit jersey. How much is this? $69. That fluffy cost extra. The cast member that was showing us the fluffy sweatshirt is gonna bring us the softest plush they have in the store. I like this, yeah. There's her carpet bag. That's cool. Oh, there's her umbrella. He's got his own sleeping eyes. Wow. Do you know what this feels like? Have you seen wow. those, um, those beauty blenders that are made of the like, fuzzy? Yes. That's what yes. this is. Yes. You yes. could yes. use but Stitch as a beauty That's blender. So funny. Yeah, it's so funny, but it is. It feels just like that beauty blender. I know exactly which beauty blu blu blender. I don't know. They have some VHS purses. They're like, what, are they, what do you call that? Like a clasp purse? A clutch. A clutch. This is cool. Yeah. They're like those super... I, know, I never know how to open them. Oh, there it goes. Oh, yeah, that's cool. And they have three different ones. They have Aladdin, Hunchback, and the Goofy movie. That's actually a really cool, like, I like to did the Goofy movie. Yeah, so we didn't make it very far into the mall. We made it about halfway through. But we did get some presents for us. Yeah. And some presents for Steffi and Dave. But I think we picked the wrong day to come because they're closing now. Oh, no, are so, they? Yeah, because we came on a Sunday, so they closed a little bit earlier. We'll have to come back another day because there's still a ton of stores. There's a Tesla store in here that we didn't even get to see. Really? Yeah. I wonder why they had so many Tesla chargers outside. Yeah. They had a whole row of them and I was like, what about us? Yeah, what about me? That's why. Now I get it. I will tell you guys this. It was very hot inside of the mall. Yeah, I was wearing a jacket because everywhere we go, it's been chilly. Yeah. It was so hot in there. I thought I was going to die. And we're Floridian. So even though it's only <laughs> uh, 61 degrees outside, we are frozen. But inside it was like 90 degrees. Right. I like how every mannequin in Forever 21 is just Uma Thurman's character from Pulp Fiction. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. It's all of them. So I'm calling it right now. This is the first in our installments of visiting the Florida Mall. Because we didn't cover nearly half of it. No, we really so didn't. So much more to well, see there. I think because it's Christmas time, I got sidetracked with shopping. Oh no. So, I'm sorry. Well no, I mean like it was good because <laughs> we, pick up stuff. we went in, we like saw the Disney stuff and all the different stores. I'm really excited to go back to Box Lunch. They have really cool stuff in there. They really do. Yeah, and the prices weren't bad. No. Everything was buy one, get one half off. I think that was just a today thing though. So oh. I wouldn't go in there being mm. like, everything's buy one, get one half. I mean, that'd be cool. But I think it was just for today. Right. So. With that being said, we are off, and we will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.